trust God. And you have to know that that stress can overburden your mind with worry. Stress can cause you to have high blood pressure. Stress can give you digestive problems. Stress can make you irritable and angry if you haven't realized that already. Hey, stress can cause depression. Stress can cause insomnia when you can't sleep at night. Stress can cause chronic headaches. It can weaken your immune system. It can lead to substance abuse. It can increase your risk of diabetes. It gives you ulcers. It can cause you to have weight gain. So you can clearly see why Paul says no matter what's going on in your life, no matter how the enemy is coming against you, you can't stress, but you got to learn how to trust God. you got to understand who's on your side. You have to realize that if God be for you, who can be against you? you got to realize that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You have to realize the kind of God that we serve. He is the ancient of days. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is omnipotent. He's all powerful. Are you following me? You got to know that God is on your side. You got to know that you have every reason to not stress, but to put your trust in God. Hallelujah. And if there is ever a time to learn how to trust God, is now. As I said before, inflation going through the roof. Gas prices are crazy. The economy is out of whack. Hey, hey, violence is ever. You can't even go to the grocery store now. Without worrying about what could happen to you. Yes. You can't even send your kids to school now. Yes. You can't even sometimes go to a house of worship. Yes. Without stress coming to your mind. Thoughts of worry. Thoughts of fear. And we have to learn how to trust God.